A somber day here in North Carolina as friends and family gathered to say goodbye to a soldier killed in Afghanistan. 22 year old Sergeant Dylan Baldridge was one of three soldiers killed almost two weeks ago when an Afghan soldier who the men were supposed to be training opened fire on them. Sergeant Baldridge was from Youngsville, and that's just uh, north of Wake Forest. Right now, friends and family currently at his graveside ceremony. NBC Charlotte's Brandon Golner brings us more from the emotional day. A truly impressive display outside Ash County High School with several fire trucks, motorcycles, police cars, as many people gather here to honor the life of Sergeant Dylan Baldridge. Far away. As she sings before a packed auditorium, Melissa Strickland wears this brooch in memory of her nephew, Sergeant Dylan Baldridge. He's a hero. And we're so honored that all of these people recognize that he's a hero. And all Sergeant Baldridge ever wanted was to join the United States Army, which he did. He served in Afghanistan when this past Saturday, an Afghan soldier he was training opened fire on him, killing him and two of his fellow service members. His brother Zachary Palmer says his family is overwhelmed by the support of this Ash County community. I hope you guys take the time today to reflect and if you didn't know him that's okay there's plenty of stories you can ask plenty of people many of those stories involve sergeant baldridge's sense of humor he loved to laugh when brigadier general matthew mcfarland began speaking he was interrupted when the song grand old flag accidentally began playing yeah <laughs> that is reflective of his sense of humor there so laughter uh... and song bringing this community together to remember Sergeant Dylan Baldridge. Many of these fire trucks, police cars, and motorcycles are also participating in a procession that will travel through the streets of West Jefferson to Sergeant Baldridge's final resting place. In Ash County, Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte.